be ready 10 seconds to go start honorable members in order to develop health care facilities across the country commensurate expansion in medical education is equally important in 2014 there were only 387 medical colleges but today there are 562 medical colleges in the country in the last 6 years there has been an increase of over 50000 seats at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels in medical education under the pradhan mantri swasthya suraksha yojana the government has also sanctioned 22 new aims the central government has led the foundation for historic reforms in the field of medical education by establishing the national medical commission along with four autonomous boards the decades old medical council of india has been replaced with the national medical commission as a part of these reforms atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan is not just confined to manufacturing in india but is also a campaign aimed at elevating the standard of living of every indian as well as boosting the self confidence of the country our goal of an atmanirbhar bharat will be further strengthened by self reliance in agriculture with this idea the government has over the last 6 years attempted to bring positive transformation in the seed to market system so that indian agriculture is modernized and also sees growth in pursuance of these efforts my government decided to implement the recommendations of the swami nathan committee report and increased the msp to at least 1.5 times of the cost of production today my government is not only purchasing record quantities at the msp but is also increasing the number of procurement centers widespread improvements are being brought in various sources of irrigation following the mantra of per drop more crop the government is not only completing the pending irrigation projects but is also delivering modern irrigation techniques to the farmers in 2013 14 only 42 lakh hectares of land was under micro irrigation whereas today more than 56 lakh hectares of land has been brought under micro irrigation i am happy to say that through their hard work our farmers are augmenting the efforts of the government today the food grain availability in the country is at 
a record high from 234 million tons food grain production in 2008 9 it increased to 296 million honorable members in the agricultural sector the need of the r is to focus our attention on the small and marginal farmers who own only one or two hectares of land more than 80% of the farmers in the country numbering over 10 crore fall under this category my government accords priority to these small and marginal farmers too in order to provide expenditure support to these farmers almost rupees 1 lakh 13000 crore have been directly transferred to their bank accounts under pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana has also benefited small farmers of this country under this scheme in the last 5 years about 90000 crore has been paid as compensation to the farmers against a premium of rupees 17000 crore the mission for setting up 10000 farmer producer organizations by bringing together small farmers of the country is also an impactful step this has ensured access of small farmers to better technology additional credit post harvesting processing and marketing facilities and insurance coverage during natural calamities on the same footing as the rich farmers this has also provided an alternative to farmers for securing remunerative prices for their produce and generating greater savings after extensive consultation the parliament approved three important farm reform bills 7 months ago namely the farmers produce trade and commerce bill the farmers agreement on price assurance and farm services bill and the essential commodities bill the benefits of these three important farm reforms have started reaching more than 10 crore small farmers instantly appreciating the advantages that these reforms would bring to the small farmers several political parties too had from time to time expressed their support the discussions over these farm reforms in every part of the country for over two decades and the demand for these reforms at different fora were also reflected during the deliberations in the house presently the apex court has stayed the implementation of these laws my government respects the decision of the apex court and shall abide by it my government holds in high esteem the values of democracy and sanctity of the constitution it is continuously making efforts to dispel the misunderstanding created in the context of these laws my government has always respected 
freedom of expression and holding of peaceful agitations in a democratic setup however the recent acts of dishonoring the national flag and showing disrespect to the auspicious occasion of the republic day are unfortunate while the constitution gives us the right to freedom of expression it is also expected that we abide by the laws and rules with equal sincerity here stop